What's up guys, this is a quick demonstration about how to implement a uh, super simple buffer overflow using a, uh, a C program, which I got right here. And this program is called overflow and uh, you got two parameters, you got the name and then a last name, which is both empty at the moment. And uh, then it prompts the user for the first name and then it prints out the first name and then it prints out the last name. And the important thing here is that the last name is never assigned in the program, so it just it would be empty all the time. So if I just compile this and uh, run it, we can see we get the prompt about my first name. And, uh, s and then it goes here and it prints out the name, and then it prints out the last name, which is empty right now. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use an overflow on... on uh, on this statement right here, so it overflows. So, just to demonstrate the concept, what's going to happen we c if we enter a name that is bigger than this right here and a bit more bigger than just five characters? For example, if we were just going to type like this, uh, which is obviously bigger than five characters, is going to overflow, and we get a warning as well. Uh, it's going to overflow as you can see in the, the in the second uh, parameter which is last name and uh, so the thing we can do here we want to know exactly on uh, where it overflows so if we assign like this whatever so we can uh, identify at exactly what point it separates and run it, you can see that it overflows uh, right here on the G because that's where the second parameter starts. So if you take this part here, copy it into something more friendlier than a terminal uh, and then we separate it right there. So this one, if the bu buffer is bigger than this, uh, it's going to overflow. So this is the actual size of uh, this parameter right here. So uh, whatever we put after this kind of size is going to go into the parameter last name. So we're just going to copy this right here. Oops. Like this, and we run the program again, and, and then I'll just paste it in there. Uh, right now, whatever we, we enter is after this is going to go into the parameter last name. So, uh, if I type like this, Olson, uh, we get that the last name is Olson, or whatever we put in there. So, uh, I see now that I have spelled it wrong, last name, whatever. So, uh, so this is th the basic concept of the, of the overflow, buffer overflow. So, how is this even possible then? Well, technically speaking, the, uh, when, when your C program gets compiled into assembly language, uh, the, uh, the compiler does some different steps with optimization and stuff, so, so it doesn't... Uh, so it just basically just takes all the parameters and puts it, on a, puts it on a stack. So, uh, for example, it can represent it like this. So the, the black squares uh, represent the, uh, the the name parameter in, in our program. So it allocates uh, we could say we can call it five pieces here, but actually it was sixteen as we said. So if I assign something that is bigger than than this size here, it's going to continue into the next uh, next variable in the stack. So, if I just uh, allocate the first character, the second character, and so on, which is bigger, and uh, this part here, which I've dotted, is uh, represent this part, and uh, then the overflow, which is this part, continues on into the to the second uh, variable. So it just continues; it it don't stop. So uh, that's that's pretty much the basic the basic concept of it. So thank you for watching.